The British Rail Class 210 is perhaps the least well-known member of the Mark III-derived multiple unit family, in stark contrast to the Class 150 Sprinter or Class 321. In this video, I will be discussing the history of these unusual units. In the early 1980s, British Rail was looking to replace their aging first generation diesel multiple units on several non-electrified lines throughout the country. As a cheaper alternative to refurbishing the older units, which would have included asbestos removal, BR planners examined the possibility of designing and building brand new DMUs to replace the old ones. The first concept was a cheaply made rail bus, which was essentially just the body of a Leyland National bus mounted on the frame of a four-wheel freight wagon. You may have heard of this concept, as it developed into the Class 140 through 144 Pacer series. The second concept was for a much more substantial DMU that was built as a train right from the start, rather than using modified bus parts. The idea was for this proposed unit to exceed the performance of existing trains, especially on longer distance services. Specifications were fairly ambitious, calling for a top speed of 90 miles per hour while having an acceleration rate comparable to the latest electric multiple units. In 1981, British Rail Engineering Limited built two prototype diesel electric multiple units at their Derby Litchurch Lane works designated as the Class 210 and designed to meet the aforementioned specifications. The units were derived from the Mark III body shell and bore a striking resemblance to the original Class 317 electric multiple units. 210001 was a four-car unit comprising a driving motor brake second, trailer second, trailer composite with toilets, and a driver trailer second coach. In other words, one power car with two centre trailers and a driving trailer, with one of those trailers having toilets and a first class section. This unit was powered by a Paxman 6RP200L diesel engine, producing 1,125 horsepower. Meanwhile, the second unit, 210002, was a three car set that lacked a trailer composite coach. Curiously, the class 210s didn't share a common prime mover type with 210002 using an MTU 12V396TC11 engine that produced 1,140 horsepower. From what I gather, this unit was designed for inner suburban services, while 210001 was more suitable for outer suburban services. Although the 210s still bore a strong resemblance to the Class 317s, the use of one large prime mover, instead of smaller engines placed under the floor, resulted in half of the forward driving coach being taken up by the engine room, thus restricting the passenger capacity. 210001 had enough seats for 254 people, while 210002 could seat 203 people. The layout of the 210's engine was very similar to the classic southern region thumpers, of which the class 205 is an example. Over their short working lives, the 210s were typically used on the western region of British Rail, but 210001 ventured north to Scotland in 1983. In October of that year, she arrived at Haymarket Depot, and initially ran services between Edinburgh, Stirling and Perth. Between October 31 and November 13, she was used on the Edinburgh to Dundee service. This was followed by an empty run to Glasgow on November 14, after which she ran the 9.50am service to Fort William, departing for the return trip at 2.15. The day after her bizarre run up the West Highland line, 210001 ran a special from Glasgow to Inverness and return. The next day, she went back to her usual home in Reading. Although the two teens were reasonably successful units, British Rail decided it was too expensive to build any more of them. In 
Instead, they built the Class 150 Sprinters, of which 137 examples were built between 1984 and 1987. The initial prototype units, 150-001 and 150-002, were built as three-car units, while the rest were all two-car units. And like the 210s, the 150s were based on the Mark III body shell. The 210s themselves remained in service until 1987, when they were withdrawn from service and sent away for storage. However, this is not the end of the story. Oddly enough, one of the two tens appears in the music video for the Bronsky Beat song, Small Town Boy, which was released in 1984. You don't see a roster shot of the train, just to the side of the coach as one of the band members gets on. Then there's a few shots of the interior, and near the end of the video you'll see a bit of the power car's exterior as the lads disembark at London Paddington. As for the song itself, it's not too bad, but I think New Order is better. Either way, I still like the longer 9 minute version of Small Town Boy. The seven former Class 210 vehicles led somewhat unusual lives after being withdrawn. In the late 1980s, Network Southeast created a testbed unit for the upcoming Networker trains, using modified X Class 210 vehicles. The units comprised the two driving trailers, as well as the centre TSO coach from the three car 210002. The driving coaches were equipped with three phase AC traction motors, which were being tested prior to their use in the Networker series. Initially starting tests on the southern region in 1989, the unit was designated as Class 457, number 457001. A coach with an additional air compressor was soon required, so NEC took the trailer second from 210001 and used it on 457001. Throughout her time on the third rail lines, the 457 occasionally ran passenger services out of London Waterloo to Windsor and Eton Riverside. In 1990, she was modified to run on 25kV AC overhead wires for testing north of London. For these tests under the wires, NEC temporarily replaced the former trailer coach from 210002 with a pantograph equipped trailer from a Class 313, and redesignated the test unit as Class 316 number 316999. Originally, the 316 designation was going to be used for a planned variant of the 1972 PEP family, in other words, a derivative of the Class 313 that would have run on the proposed Pickwick Underground line in Manchester, but that scheme never went beyond the concept stage. After the trials were over, the 457 was placed in storage at Eastleigh. The trailer coach numbered 67400 formerly part of 210002, was converted for use in class 455-9, number 455912. Originally DMSO number 67301, the former driving trailer of 210002, was preserved at the Electric Railway Museum near Coventry. But in 2013 she was converted into a motor standard open coach and inserted into class 455 number 455913, as her original MSO was destroyed in an accident at Oxshot in 2010. Most of the South Western Railway class 455s are still in service today, including 455912 but they are due to be replaced by the Class 701 Aventras. There is at least one former Class 210 vehicle that's still in preservation, namely the former DTSO number 60300 from Unit 210001. As part of the Class 457 modification, she was renumbered to 67300 and is now preserved at the East Kent Railway having been transferred there from the now-defunct Electric Railway Museum. Sadly, neither of the Class 210 power cars were preserved, as they were instead scrapped in 2003 after several years in storage at Eastleigh. 
A picture of the power cars in storage can be found on the departmentals.com website. And that was the story of the British Rail Class 210 diesel electric multiple unit. I wanted to talk about these things due to their obscurity and unusual history. And if you would like to watch some of my previous mini documentaries, feel free to check out the Obscure Offerings playlist on this channel. Previous subjects have included, but are not limited to, the EMC AB6, LNER Y6 tram engine, Caledonian Railway Class 34, Leon Metro MCL 80, and the Denver and Rio Grande Western K37 class. Although a complete Class 210 unit wasn't preserved, at least we still have that driving coach preserved at Shepherd's Well. After all, I suppose one coach is better than nothing. <laughs>